How's it going, everybody? We are back with the final part of Scooby-Doo Night of 100 Frights. And I'm once again joined by Sick Cody, because we're doing this immediately after, if you'd like to say hello. Hello. I am slowly losing energy. <laughs> so we are about to rescue Shaggy, because the professor wants him out of the picture, because he knows we're onto him. Is that a shark? <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. That's some yeah, professor... classic supervillain stuff right there. <laughs> the professor's getting serious, Cody. How do you even get those buttons? Oh, you're gonna swing? Yep. <laughs> Hold on, so, Raggy. Listen. The professor, he, he wants us, like, dead at this point. Because there's something beyond that door he doesn't want us to see. <laughs> his his embarrassing uh, cover song of, of something. Hit, hit me, lay me one more time. <laughs> so first, you gotta hit one switch that uh, makes the shark disappear for some reason. It's all magic, dude. Indeed. And now we have to find a way to drain the water. He doesn't know how to float? <laughs> nope. Bruh. Like, you don't even have to swim, you just have to, like, float. Well, maybe it's the same reason Scooby can't. The professor probably dumps all that radiation in the water. Or <laughs> maybe they never bother taking lessons. That's true. Where I run? Where I run? <laughs> Why'd you go back? <laughs> I had to get the snack. Oh, okay. Because these, you can actually miss Here these. If you don't get them now, Shaggy's, Shaggy will be gone, and you can never get him again. Oh, okay. See, so, yeah. gotta rescue Shaggy. After you get all the snacks, you just watch yep. you watch you go like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> like, hey, Scoob, why aren't you helping me out, old pal? What about that thing right there? The control panel? Oh, that thing floating up there. Oh, that was... You can't reach that for some reason. Oh, it doesn't let you swing back and forth, huh? Nope. And that's all the Scooby Snacks in the entire game. Nice. Alright, so now... The ultimate battle that will last two minutes at, at, at most. It's time to get to the bottom of this mystery. As we walk very slowly to the door. You scared him. I know. He was like, why is he walking slowly? Is someone watching us? The gang's watching. How did he get over there? Yeah, wouldn't he be like right behind him? Careful, Scoop. Perhaps he jumped. That is filled with acid. Acid? Come on, Scooby. You can do it. We're almost at the end of this mystery. And I got a plan. Okay, where I come. Ooh. So now I gotta get over this vat of acid. Oh, you gotta time your jumps. Indeed. Now, how good are you at that? We're about to find out. I don't remember. So, what do you think all this acid is for, Cody? Eh, maybe cleaning off why some rusty metal. But why do you think the professor didn't want us to see it? Why does he look so short right there? <laughs> They're on a platform. He like barely made it up to like Daffy's knees. He's supposed to be like a great Dane. Listen, don't judge. 
professor was making super real holograms. <laughs> Hear that, Cody? Like what holograms? Is a hologram? Holograms are images made out of solid light. I mean, they don't have to be made out of solid light. <laughs> because we, we have holograms and they're not solid at all. <laughs> Listen. The professor doesn't care. He just makes his own rules. That's right, Scooby. No, That'd be no, cool if we could make solid no, light. No, I could make bridges out of that crap. But Scooby's gonna need to the mastermind or ma Imagine a rainbow bridge, like from Mario Kart. I feel like that'd be very dangerous. Yeah. It'd be very, very bright, but it'd be cool. Ready, Scoob? Perhaps. Uh -huh. I'm not going anywhere. Well, would you do it for us, Scooby Snacks? That is, that is some oh, cap. He would, he would do. Uh, outrageous things for Scooby Snacks. Okay. Well, I'm ready. L listen, he's being offered multiple Scooby right. Snacks, so now he agrees. Rory. See, look at that. Tall look at that. Is. Yeah, look at that. And then in the in the video, it, in that cutscene, he's like barely reaching up to Daffy's knees. <laughs> listen, don't, don't worry about it. In this world, cutscene Scooby is like very short. Indeed, and it's time for the final showdown. I like how they sent him to go do a boss fight, and they're like, "Oh, let's get the hell out of here." <laughs> Soon it will all be mine. My brilliant plan is working perfectly. All that remains is what? Impossible. How did you, a worthless cur, make it this far? A worthless cur. Well, your luck ends here. That seems offensive. As well as all nine of your lives. I think that's cat. Well, I'm not a cat. So how do you fight this guy? So you have to get all those things in the background, those little projectors, to face him, because we're gonna trick him and then project the gang's projections over there, so it looks like they're standing behind him. That <laughs> wouldn't he know it though? Because he's, he's using the, the holograms himself. Listen, if it's the professor, then he's too dumb to realize that. <laughs> so you have to kill these guys, and then once you kill them all, then you can activate the switches again. This seems like such an easy final boss. But listen, this is very difficult compared to the other ones. I mean, all you gotta do is time it and then you're good. This is just phase one, dude. That was it. Alright, game over. It's been a nice series. <laughs> So did you notice that there was someone who wasn't with the gang then? That was in the yeah. previous cutscene outside. Yeah. She Perhaps that disappeared into the void. Is she the villain? Indeed. Is that what you're implying here? <laughs> could be, Cody. You could have been wrong about the professor this whole time. We got like a jealous uh, relative here. I mean, that would make sense. That falls in the theme of the Scooby-Doo villains, you know? Indeed. <laughs> so, next time I um, hit the Mastermind, look, look at how he flies away. So first you gotta ground pound the guy, but once you do that, you have to run at him, and then he goes flying in the most slow way possible. The slow way possible? Indeed. So, so watch, watch him fly. It just goes like two feet in like two seconds. It's too slow, dude. <laughs> he has like uh, two uh, half speed applied to him whenever he gets hit. 
Indeed. <laughs> His top speed just isn't very fast. So he doesn't go back up there? Nope. He, he uh, for some reason, can't teleport up there. Uh, okay, that's good, because I was going to say, that would be really weird if he got scared by the gang again. Even though he would probably be expecting it the second time, you know? Indeed. And he just got fried. So if that is old man, he's probably dead. That was an easy boss. Listen, that was more difficult than the other ones. Alright, so now we're back in the main room of the mansion. Now it's time to get to the I don't know where I saw it. Come on, gang. <laughs> but there's the like really a Scooby Doo parody. Wait, Fred, where let's see who this is. Really they take is. take his masks off and it's just rip keeper, off his face. Right? Yeah, I've seen oh, those. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. that was so weird it's to see back then. <laughs> Perhaps. What do you people have against groundskeeper? Groundskeepers are <laughs> evil. Some detective. Why don't you just say the butler did it? But no, it's always got to be the groundskeeper, don't it? Anytime some ghost scares somebody off a well-kept lawn, it's just got to be the groundskeeper. Like we couldn't just put up a sign that says "keep off the grass." Nah, I'll just get myself a big old rubber. I'm gonna complain a lot. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's time to see were you right, Cody? Was it the professor? Yeah, I was right. It's the professor. It's Professor Alexander Graham. Are you sure? <laughs> oh my. Uncle Alexander. Oh, so cat. I don't believe it. I knew it all the time. <laughs> something just doesn't add up. If you ask me, something. Uh oh, so I was right the last time. Nice. Nah. You were wrong. Wow. That was you just thought it was the professor the whole time. Holly, what are you doing there? Zoinks, but Holly's right. <laughs> also, how is that a mask? <laughs> wrong, Shaggy. That Holly was just a uh, hologram. That looks like make know. that looks like makeup, not a mask. <laughs> In the mastermind the entire time. <laughs> just think about the clues. Don't question it. Remember how Holly said she followed all of our cases? Only she'd know enough of <laughs> Why does this look like uh holograms of pre pre uh game release footage uh clips? <laughs> Maybe it is, and they're like, hmm, we can like use this. Of herself it looks like they don't have any shaders on them or anything like that. <laughs> like plastic dolls. How she got the professor here. In a mastermind costume, no less. Well that's simple. She used my patent pending dressed for supper, suck you upper. Dressed for I supper, suck you upper. <laughs> that I built a device that could get me dressed and to the front door in seconds. That would probably be convenient though. Be on time to face mm -hmm. a pizza delivery man. <laughs> if you're just exactly. lazying around, you use this uh, suck you upper and then get dressed right away. And switch places with her How own. does that even work? <laughs> like, you're flying through the, the thing, it you're just like quickly getting ready. <laughs> Like yep. And I don't know how they switch places though. Hologram. Get it? Hologram. <laughs> Cause her name's Holly Graham. Hologram. But why, Holly? Why go through all of that? That is wow. <laughs> what the? Huh. That makes a lot of sense. They were so on the nose with what the heck? It was a good plan. What? Like, what do you mean? Yeah. And I would have hmm. gotten away with it too, if not for you meddling kids and your pesky Why does he look so stoned? Why does he, why does he look stoned? Yeah, yeah, she was eating some of the food. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to repay you. it's all fake though. Well, all these Indeed. fiddles are a great start. Hey! Oh, he tricked him. Just wow. a prank, bro. Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> So technically, what she did wasn't really uh, an act of crime compared to other villains. So does she get off scot free? Uh, I think that's up to the professor. <laughs> you have to clean the basement now. 
it, you cleaned my entire house since you didn't allow me to do it because you framed me. So what did you think of this game, Cody? What an odd end credit theme. Listen. Like everything is all everything's all like Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo sounding, and then there's this, which just sounds like something you would hear in like a, a racing game. <laughs> this is the reward though. Oh it's a remix, okay. A sick remix. Huh, well, this game was, well, like I said, it didn't make much sense, but it's a cartoon game. It's alright. That's true. It looked also super easy. <laughs> Listen, it was not easy. The platforming with the horrendous camera angles were horrendous. Now, if they had, like, proper uh, camera control, this game would be, like, super easy. <laughs> Listen, if they had proper camera control, this game would be like up there in one of the best platformers ever. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Top 20. Maybe. Maybe at that one. And unfortunately, we're not getting a remake for this game because the guy got his project ceased and assist. Really? Yep. When did that happen? Uh, I think a month or two ago. He got a cease and desist, so he can't do it. Damn. Warner Brothers, huh? Either them or Heavy, Heavy Iron Studios. Oh, the guys who made the game? Yeah. Do they still exist? I think so, yeah. Maybe they're making their own. Possibly. <laughs> I doubt it. A lot of, uh... TV show games and movie games have been kind of sidelined the last few years. Yeah, that's... I wish there was more of them. Alright. Someday. So that's mm. the end of it. What are, what's the uh, after game look like? Uh, so you can talk to the groundskeeper and he's gonna be like, Hey, why don't you go around collecting everything you missed? Oh wait, you didn't- No wait, no that's not his voice. Hey, you defeated the mastermind, good job, it was Holly the whole time, she sure had me fooled. Now how about helping me collect all the remaining items, now you can go into any area and get anything you missed. What but did you miss? Cause you got everything. I know, I did. You got the tokens, you got the Scooby Snacks, you got the areas. Yeah, so now uh, there's just a, some stuff in the monster gallery you can look at. Um, I don't know if we need to commentate over that, so we can perhaps end it pretty quick. Um, did you enjoy co-commentating, Cody? Uh, it's it's alright. Perhaps with Kingdom Hearts 2, that'll be more fun since you'll actually be playing the game. <laughs> I'd, I'd never edited it yet, though, dude. If you'd like to see more of Cody, say so in the comments, and we'll get that Kingdom Hearts 2 playthrough going. No, no, no. We'll get something else going. Perhaps Minish Cap Cody will join me for and make me play it. I mean, that would be interesting. Have you ever beaten it? Uh, the 3DS one I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the rest of this video is just showcasing some of the concept art, so I think we're safe to end her here. Do you have any final closing statements? Mm. No, not really. I pretty much said my, what I was going to say at the end credits. Okay. Then I guess we will see you guys in whatever our next Let's Plays that we do together. Thank you for watching. That will take months to upload. Hopefully not this long. <laughs> Who knows? We'll see.